Hi everyone, it's Augustus. Today I'm doing the most common questions, part three. And for question one, they are asking, do you plan on going to college or university? I get asked this question somewhat a lot, but uh, I had been going to college and I had to stop taking classes because I had a medical emergency and because I missed too many days of class I was dropped. For what I really want to do uh, m most of the classes aren't um, it's more of a trade school and they're not really covered by government programs so I um, I <clears throat> I will probably <coughs> sorry I will probably have to um, save my money before I can go to a college or university or for the trade school that I want so the the answer to that is yes in the future but not right now. I hope that answers your first question. And the second question that I, I get asked a lot is, do you think people give a crap about you? I think they give a crap to a certain extent, but I don't think that it's necessarily about me. I think it's more like they only give a crap about themselves and... Um, and they just want to, they just want to pass the blame on to me. So the answer to that is no. They they really don't give a crap about me. And well, I hope that answers your question. Question number three. I I I put this question down to answer. I I don't really get asked it a lot, but it just seems like a common question. And how, it asks, how do you feel about blackmail? <laughs> I I feel blackmail is wrong. I feel it's it, it, it it's wrong by a lot of standards. I mean, people just do it to take advantage of uh, of another person's money or their well-being or just so they get 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 an advantage on someone else whether whether they you know they demand money for it or or power it, it, it's wrong regardless and my my stance well my stance is pretty firm it, it's wrong and for those people that are doing it the only thing i have to say about that is it makes you wrong not right wrong it's also very illegal, and eventually you will get caught. And well, hmm. I know in some places they they have protection acts, like the like I know California has a whistleblowers protection act, and I'm sure other places do too. But they actually have associations that where you can blow the whistle if you suspect someone's blackmailing and I, I don't agree with people who blackmail it's it's wrong and to me it, it seems like they're the ones that really want to destroy this world because all they're concerned about is, pow is power so I, I, I hope that really answers your question on how I feel about blackmailing Question number four, why do you stutter so much? Uh, a lot of times I stutter because I, I have difficulty trying to find the answer to a question or to, to when I make a statement. And I don't know if it's necessarily a speech impediment. It's just I'm not a very fast thinker. And a lot of times I hit a brick wall when I, I go through my thought process, so that's why I stutter so much. Uh, that pretty much answers that question. I mean, uh, unless you were 
trying to ask another question which then I don't understand but I hope that answers question number four. Question number five, if you had the chance to move out of America permanently, where would you move to? Um, well, there's lots of places I, I would move to. I would not move to Canada. I would not move to Mexico. You know, no no offense to, to the population of those two places. I mean, they're both very beautiful places. It's just, to me, one's too hot to live in and the other's too cold to live in. And my body doesn't tend to adjust to all the things like that. I mean, if it's too hot, then... I tend to get grouchy, and if it's too cold, I really get grouchy, more so when it's cold, and I, I, I just don't think I, I'd be suited to living in those places, but I would say, eh, I, I would say, um, somewhere in the United Kingdom, I mean, yeah, I know it's wet, I know it, it, it can get cold there too, but, I mean... I, I just don't really, I really don't like the western side of the world. I, I really never have, and it's nothing against the people. It, it, it's more, more like, I just don't fit in, so I'm, I, I'd probably move somewhere in, in the UK or Scotland, Ireland, Britain, somewhere in that area, England, somewhere over there. So I hope that answers your question. As far as question number six goes, how would you react to a zombie apocalypse? Oh no, oh no, it's the end of the world! Um, no, um, really, that's not really how I would react because if I had reacted that way, then I would probably be one of the first people to be eaten by a zombie. Um, definitely not make a lot of noise. I, I, I've heard that noise can attract zombies, and I wouldn't want to do that necessarily. Definitely carry a big, a big freaking gun. Yeah. Of course, I'm not really one for using guns because they run out of ammunition. I think I'd carry a big freaking sword. Yeah. A little more dangerous. Takes the rusk again a bit. But hey, at least I wouldn't have to worry about ammunition. Especially if I have my own armor. Yeah. I mean, kind of hard for a zombie to bite through metal. So, I probably would end up killing every zombie out there. Sorry for the for for saying that, but you know the people that are that are living well when they all become zombies, you know, all I can say is it was nice knowing you. So I hope that answers that question. Uh, question number six: How often do you have sex? Uh, I get asked. I actually get asked this question a lot, and. It's not really something I want to talk about, but uh, if anything, I try to avoid having sex, and I don't really have much of a sex drive, so it doesn't really appeal to me to have sex, so that's just how I am, and I hope that answers your question. Question number eight. Have you ever thought about self-harm or harming others. Uh, several several times, in fact, I've thought about harming myself and harming others, and I've, I've sought help, and it just seems like where I live, the people really don't give a crap about me. So that could relate to number two. And I, as far as question number two, and I really, as far as harming others, um, I would have to say the only time I've really thought about harming others is when I knew that I was being threatened. And 
I tend to get threatened a lot. I, I don't know what it is with people, but they, they think that it's it's a game to make threats to me. They think it's a game to see how I'll react or what I'll do. One of these days someone's going to do that and they're not going to have a chance to run away or or run uh, and hide behind their badge or their shield or, or whatever it may be. And they're going to find out the hard way and they're not going to like it. So I, I really hope that answers your question. Question number nine. Are you racist and if so, why? I am not racist and nor have I ever been nor ever, I, ever will I ever be. And for people who think that I'm racist, well, you, you might want to recheck yourself because uh, you might be the one who's racist. And I find a lot of times that people who say that I'm racist tend to be, they are the ones that tend to be racist and they're the ones that are judgmental. So, for the most part, I, I would have to say that, um, that I will never be racist and I will never judge people. I'm not one to judge on skin color, eye color, hair, or, what, or whatever the case may be. You know, creed, religion, or whatever. And I, I just, I cannot fathom why anyone would think that I'm racist other than the fact uh, in fact of, you know, historical settings and what they've been told and, and what they think. Despite what they think, you know, that doesn't make me racist. They they just want to develop their own opinions and make their own judgments based off of what someone has told them or what they've heard or seen. Doesn't mean that they don't know anything about me. So I hope that answers your question. And question number 10. Do you believe everyone is out to get you? No, I do not believe everyone is out to get me. That's like with question number 9. You know, I, I have to question a person's judgment when, when they ask me this because it, it kind of makes me think that maybe they're the ones that aren't paranoid and that maybe they aren't trying to hide someone something and that maybe they don't believe that everyone is an out to get them. I know a lot of times people think that it might be fun to pl plot against me or think that, oh, hey, le let's do something that he won't like, you know, so he believes that we're out to get him or that he, that he believes that it's okay, you know, to trust us while we stab him in the back and that's not the case I I really think that people just use it as a means of manipulation and control and that that really they're doing they're they're doing it to pass the blame on to someone else and that they're doing it to to hide the fact that they believe that everyone's out to get them instead. I mean, I, I, I cannot understand why they would think that that it's okay to put the blame on me and say, oh, he just thinks that everyone's out to get him. No. No, I don't. I don't think that at all. But what I do think is coincidences are not accidental. They're planned. And a lot of times, a coincidence is not a coincidence. It's an illusion that has been planned and very well organized. So I'll just let people, you know, plot their own ideas and let them think what they want. But as far as I'm concerned, um,. I don't, I have never thought that anyone's out, been out to get me, and nor will I ever think that, despite, despite whatever they may believe, or whatever they've heard or seen. I, I think that's just their, their excuse to pass judgment on me. So I hope that answers your question. 
And that concludes the end of part three, most common questions. If you l liked my video, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and if you have any other questions, please, please also leave a comment below. Or leave a video response, and I'll review it and approve it. And be sure to tell your friends or family about my YouTube channel, and I will see you in, um, in my next video. Thanks for watching.